Right, we've faced off the end of this, this bar now. Now if we look at the drawing, we've got to turn it down so that it looks like this. So that piece is 5 millimeters in diameter. We're going to cut an M5 thread on that, but it is that long. Now the whole overall length of the whole thing is 21 millimeters. The length of the knurled part, this, the screw bit, is, or the grip rather, is 13 millimeters. 21 take away 13 is 8. So this bit is 8 millimeters long. So if we look at the back at the piece of metal, we have got to turn along the top here a length of 8 millimeters. And then we've got to reduce the diameter of that bit down to 5 millimeters exactly. I positioned the tool approximately 8 millimeters from the end of the bar. So I'm going to make a, a light touch now. And then turn it down up to that mark. And then check the measurement again to make sure that I'm about right. So I'm going to turn that off now and then check and that is just a fraction under 8, that's OK. Now, turn it down, don't go any further than the shoulder, turn it down until you reduce the diameter to around about 8 millimetres. If the swarf gets built up, just get it off the end of the tool. Wind it away from the work, get it off the end of the tool. Now, when we get a bit closer, we're going to be looking at our um, micrometer to check what size we've got this down to. So I'm going to stop now, take my micrometer, and put it each side of the, uh, the bar and do it up, not too tight. Now look at that and we should be able to see that that is uh, five, six, seven, about seven, just under seven millimeters. Yeah, so we need to take two millimeters off that. So what I'm going to do now is look at um, this wheel here on the cross slide. I'm going to hold the bit with the handle on and turn the bit with the numbers on around till zero lines up with this line, the line on the top here. So if you can see that with my finger it says a line and then there's a zero on here which will line up with that line. so I've zeroed the cross slide. I know I need to take about 10 millimeter, uh, 2 millimeters off. So what I'm going to do now is to wind in uh, 1 millimeter there. So I've moved the tool forward um, by enough to take off 1 millimeter. So I'll try again now. Turn the lathe on and take another cut. Stop it and check it with my micrometer. I'm expecting it to be six millimeters now, which it is. So I've moved the tool in and taken by millimeter and taken the, um, the the rod down to six millimeters. So one more millimeter should do it. So I look back at this scale here, and I don't touch it. I don't touch it. I just wind it in to just under. 20, so two millimeters off from the original mark. Check it again, and now we should be somewhere near. I'm just I'm 0.15 over five millimeters, so I've got to go down until that is on the five so I'm kind of expecting that so I'll wind this in just a tiny tiny bit about three divisions on there stop it first before you wind it out and then 
Yep, that is just dead on five, which is what we expect it to be. That's what it needs to be. Right, now I'm just going to look at that shoulder line on there. I've got a couple of rings on it which need to be gotten off. So what I'm going to do now is go along and just wind it back a little bit, start it, and then bring it out just to give me a nice smooth edge. Right, so that now is ready to have the thread cut on it.